Hello everyone, this is Pomon bringing you the final part of my Fire Emblem Path of Radiance series. I sat down today thinking I was going to record the second to last part, probably, and then I saw Endgame. So I, I know this is the end, and yeah. I don't know, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how this game concludes, but that was pretty fast from the point where we killed the Black Knight, things have just gone very fast. So, the Crimean Royal Palace, located in the center of Melior, is famed for its beautiful gardens where the world seems at peace. But times have changed, countless battles have reached in the idyllic confines, and a new Dark Lord now sits upon the throne. The palace itself has not suffered, it remains a, study, a study of dignity and elegance. Yet there is no peace on this day. A grim tension fills the air, engulfing all it touches in deafening silence. Within the heart of the palace sits the author of this war, Ashner, King of Dying. Ike, Supreme Commander of the Crimean Army, and Elincia, Princess of Crimea, have completed their battle preparations. Now they spend a tense morning waiting for the decisive battle that will conclude their year-long odyssey. They wait for the beginning of the end. Year long. Like that's honestly one of the things I might like the most about this game, the fact that there is the feeling that we are doing a war campaign and, and this is a high effort. So report the, la the results of the last battle. No deaths, no injuries. That is all. Okay. Friend and <laughs> friend. All right. <laughs> So tomorrow's the day we take on the capital. I'm ready. Ooh. It doesn't matter how hard the fight you, you're facing might be. I always feel excited the night before. I'd like to tell you how wrong that is, but I can't. I can seem to calm my nerves. Head. We're going to win, you know? King Dying will survive the day. Hmm. I wonder. Why do you have a pink pixel on your hair? Is that my computer? No, it's your hair. Why does your hair have a pin? Okay, that's something. Are you too on guard, Didi? Oh, it's you. Hey, Egg. You have some need of picking? Yeah, I... will you tell him I'm here? We will. Wait here. So, tomorrow it is. Did you come by to check on our preparations? You know me too well. You're going to circle the capital and ensure that no airborne enemies escape. That's clear, isn't it? Yes, I think our Sinclair the encircling the capital is a good idea. We'll guard the west and take care of the airborne combats as well. Uh, the Fuenises and Kilvas armies are unbeatable in that regard. Kilvas is going to help out? Of course. After what we saw in the dangers of Gritnia Tower, we all agreed that King Nationals must pay. Reason and Liam helped to, helped to sway certain opinions. It was tough, but in the end we understood what needs to happen. But having been said, the crows are traitors by nature. If worst comes to worst, the, it may be just as hawks out there. It will be enough. At least I know I can rely on you. Well, to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't mind a chance to remove Ashner's head off from his shoulders. It's just like the time I fought the Black Knight. You're being kept away from the main fight. My apologies, Hawking. That's alright. But if you find yourself overwhelmed, give me a call. Understood? And as for your reason, I'm sure you are tired of hearing this, but... I know, I know. Be careful. Don't die. Don't worry, I won't die. I'm going to leave... I'm not going to leave Leanne and my father all alone. Nestling, it appears they're discussing tomorrow's battle. Shouldn't you join them? No, I think not. 
She has to burn after all. He doesn't really want help from Kilvas anyway. Uh, okay, may not care, but Prince Rayson would surely feel that you had uh, betrayed him yet again, Nestle. What? Oh, and dear Lady Lianne as well. If you were to flee in the face of the enemy, it would break her heart. It would be so sad. Uh, Seen I love Crow. You think if you bring those two into it, I'll do a safe bit dog and fight? Of course you. Nessala. Been moved. This world has waited for over a year. But it will all be over by midday tomorrow. What do you feel like? Think we'll win? We'll win. I need to say that. <laughs> you don't fool me anymore. But even so, I appreciate your bravado tonight. Ooh. Without such courage, it would be impossible to face King Dain. Master Gipka, what are you doing here? The King Felanisia, knowing you were a hero on your own, I come in his name. So, are, are you going to fight with us? That is my purpose. Really? Gifka? Gifka? Okay. Uh, that is, if Lord Arthur grants his prey mission, of course. The Dine army is large, so we're going to be attacking them from the front and holding the two eastern gates. It would be very appreciative if you would agree to take command of that front. If that is your wish, I can but agree. Was this now? You weren't satisfied with the work I was doing? I mean, I know I'm no master gift, but please. Ranulf, I want you to be with me. Is that alright? No, now I see. Surely that would be fine. Getting to be part of the main pack is the highest of honors. Master Gifka. It's been a long time. How is the king? He's in good health. The king has given me a message for you two. A message? Not orders? That's right. He said to be sure you make it home alive. And then he said you that your work in the past year has been most satisfactory. And that he's sincerely grateful to you both. That's, that, that's such an honor. We have fought hard, but it wasn't above. I can the others are good Bjork. We are happy to fight with them. I see. Alright. So I, I guess he's not going to actually join us, he's just going to be supporting us. Uh, I don't have any skill. And I don't think I have any relevant thing either. Uh, Nefen is definitely coming. Yeah, man, physic hammer. That sounds okay. Maybe, you know, at this point, like, the hammer, I don't think it's going to be that useful. War. War could be useful. War could be useful. The share stuff I never got to use, but it does seem like, well, the best stuff in the game, basically. Uh, but Mist isn't there yet, right? She's on A. Elincia is too. The fact that I don't get to see, like, uh, you know, how close I am to the next level in terms of, uh, you know, weapon proficiency does bother me a little bit, but okay. So let me, let me check the outfits. Yes, in a moment. Alright, so that should be it. Uh, guess I'll save here. I'm, I'm going to save here. And my last save is going to be on the top. As I normally do. Although this time it's like unintentional. Lift the base, yes. Princess, it's time. It's right there. I can see the capital. Father, mother, my lord, uncle, your Elincia has returned. Our soldiers are in formation and awaiting your orders, princess. For good or ill, this will be our final battle. Before they march, would you speak to them? What? Uh, you want me to address the troops? This fight will determine if Ashner falls and if we can all return to our beloved homeland. Today, princess, will risk all. Giving men the courage to fight is the duty of a leader. 
I don't know how to do it, but I will try. <laughs> Hear me, brave fighting men of Crimea. Much have you lost in service to your land. Hear me, beloved fighters, beloved friends of the Lagos. You too have given all for our fair cause. Hear me, my trusted company of all. Your men of grill did see me to this day. I stand before you, made of flesh and bone, alive because you risked your life for me. A word cannot my thanks express in kind. We march today into the years of fate. Our enemy lies in wait over this hill. If on the morrow I shall live no more, my fondest dream is to among you walk and give you each my heartfelt thanks and you. Let not this dream dissolve in this despair. We will defeat the dreaded king of thine, who will reclaim this land we hold so dear. Lend me your strength, lend me your weary hearts. Today we make our faith for good and all. One life can make a mark upon this world. One life can move the wheel of history. Be that one life. Fight well, fight brave, fight true. Holy shit. That was a speech. Where did that come from? That was magnificent. Since the princess too has grown stronger. He said we grow into the into the roles we're given, is it? Elincia will make a splendid queen. That's that's yes what Nasir said. Well this true. Stop it. Don't, don't give me that I can't believe what I just heard, look. Nasir said it, right? <laughs> that's a relief. I thought the world had gone mad. Stupid cat. <laughs> Why is Randolph so weirdly relevant? I I mean, I thought he was relevant because he was going to matter to the plot, but he kind of really doesn't. So yeah, it's weird. All right, let's go. This ends today. I'm ready. I have everything I need. Very well, we're ready. Uh, say, Ike, this is the end of the end, you know? So rather than giving orders, why don't you say a word to Right. I think Princess Elincia said enough. I want to hear what you have to say, brother. Father always did it, didn't he? You want me to say something like Father would have done? Uh huh? I mean, let's speak to the army. Mm. Hey there. Before this final battle, there's only one thing I want to tell all of you. I don't want any of you dying on me. Remember, you only have one life. At a time like this, it doesn't matter what our blood ties are. We are family. That's what my father always used to say. And today, for the first time, I understand why he said it. Because we are a family. So if you don't want to cause your family any grief, then leave. Don't drop your guard. Don't turn your back. Use every drop of your strength. Our road has been long, but it ends today. Let's liberate Crimea and free our friends and our families from dying tyranny. Men of Crimea, the goods of Telius, grill mercenaries, move out. Nice. Crimea Castle. Attack, we're being attacked! The castle gate has fallen. The Crimean attack cannot be stopped. Oh yeah, true. You. I thought you were going to be in the previous one. It appears the end is near, your majesty. Please use the rear gate and withdraw. We will cover your retreat. I am not living. But if... If we lose your majesty, the dying royal bloodline itself will be lost. Are you saying I will lose? <laughs> Is that what you wish to say? No, of course not. For our armies in dire straits, this is merely an act of prudence, your majesty. 
I humbly ask that you consider the continuance of the bloodline above all else. Uh, of course, your judgment. The value of the 13th generation of Dain's royal family is not so high as to warrant your pathetic display. I am Dain. If I am to be destroyed, then let Dain be destroyed with me. Your, your Majesty, that is. I have no need of inconsistent retainers, or if, of inconstant retainers. You are an obstacle. Away with you. But, but your majesty. My sole desire is to rule through strength. The weak perish and the strong leg of bone. This is the law of nature. It is the law of the goddess herself. It, it is the law that the goddess herself created when she forced to this world. It appears that further conversation would only be a waste of time. So even if his majesty deserves it not, I will remain and protect him. I cannot allow the legacy of dying to end here. Tell me, Bryce, you were my father's retainer, were you not? On the fifteenth year of, of my life, and for twenty more years until his death, I did serve him faithfully. The thing that killed my father was not play, nor was it another illness. It was me. What? Oh, but it doesn't end there. There was my stepmother too, and every brother who stood to be legitimate her. All of them died by my hand. Are you still determined to protect me, knowing this truth? I am. We found it, guys. Here's the fucking camo. Even knowing now as I do now, you are still your father's son, the blood of dying king. Uh, kings follows into you. You are all that remains. By your lip. Such loyalty to a corpse. In truth, there is nothing in this world more humorous than a knight. Alright, so he killed basically everyone that could stand in his way to the throne. And there he is. Mounted on a peculiar looking dragon. I think I think I was in the right. That doesn't look like a wyvern. That definitely looks like a lagoose. So is that Elisa, what are you doing? Get back. Ashinar? What did you say? That is the King of Dain? <laughs> it's been a long time, Princess Crimea. You look quite different than you did. The day I, I cut your father and mother down like cat. I can hardly believe you're the same little girl who did nothing but tremble and stare at me. You, you Craven, I've returned to see you defeated. I will no longer allow you to treat Crimea any way you please. <laughs> How brave and noble of you. However, you are not the one I seek. <laughs> Alicia. Are you the one they claim is the song of Gawain? King National of Dying, your treachery dies of, of my blade. Oh. <laughs> I see that blade in your hand. It is a sacred blade, is it not? The only type of blade that can pierce my armor. It matters not how famous the blade, if the wielder lacks a skill. The greatest sword is nothing but blunted steel. Don't worry, you will see for yourself how blunt it is. I expect good things from you, son of Gawain. What you see before you are my elite and big soldiers. How will you deal with them? Looking forward to watching you. Don't disappoint me. Hold. Oh. All right. Weird. Like very weird setup, but yeah, strong enemies and all that. That's cool. 
any of you who's armed to remember what it is like to battle. Step 4. I would take your, of your strength now. I can't talk today, really, of all days today I can't talk. And it's forced. Interesting. Uh, and Elincia isn't. That's weird. I actually thought it would be the opposite. Um, Mist, Oscar, Marcia, Raisin, Asterix, Yield, Leaf, Sean, Lefany, Boyd, Mia. Okay. So, Etania did a good job, but I think her staying behind is okay. And Lucia, Lu Lucia definitely deserves a better chance. Like, I think uh, Mia is yes, better overall. 17, 22, 15, 23. Actually, Mia is not, bad, not much better. <laughs> Mia is just very bad. Uh, I guess parity, the good thing about parity is it's so cheap you can get Astra. But Mia can't even get Astra without losing Vantage. Okay, let's save here. They want my final save to be at the top. Okay, map. Big map, some feral ones. Let's defeat the boss. Don't. Decreases hit and critical hit for all enemies within three spaces. Renewal. 60 health. 35 defense. Okay. That's, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of defense. And. 27 speed. Ike doesn't double, has 43 attack, so he does around 8 damage. Okay, you're tough. I get it. Oh, Brace. Brace is here. Wish Blade. S rank lance, a unique lance forged by a master craftsman. Powerful but difficult to wield with a speed win to consume. Weird as hell. Any other named enemy? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. There's a droppable physic here, that's all. Okay. I'll save once again because we are going in. I, I don't think my, my position matters a lot. Because we are very close together, so... Are you nervous? Yes. And you, my lord, I... No. I'm actually pretty calm in a strange way. Now that we're finally here, I can focus on defeating King Dine. Nothing else seems to matter. I wonder if we shall win. We will win. I didn't come this far to lose. I've come all this way as well, so believe in yourself. You're right. Okay, so yeah, I have an immediate transformation. I mean, there are strong enemies, but I guess it really depends on how aggressive they are. Big final map, though. <laughs> Not even a final map theme, which is weird. So maybe this is a two-parter. Price moves. Even if he doesn't attack. Okay, how much do I do to uh, an armor with a Ragnar? He almost killed. Okay. That's good damage. I might go for Bryce myself. With Ike. Okay, this other silver lance. This is parity. You remember I gave her parity. Why? I don't know exactly, but oh, oh, oh. Is everyone going to? Surely not. Surely not everyone's going to move.
Master Ike. I'm surveying the field. I believe it is like I believe it likely that we may incur a high rate of casualties. They say is calling in aid from one of the other battalions. A single warrior could make all the difference. <laughs> I can actually call them. Okay, maybe I get to call the three of them as we go through the map, so if I can only get one just in case. Nesala. Nesala. I like Nesala. The other ones are cool. Nesala I really like. Okay, so this is the kind of block that makes me not afraid for anything happening. Okay. And I'll fire one shot. Well, one shot. You, you know what I mean. It's low on health already, but. And you're gone. Okay. Wonder if you have a conversation with Ike. This is a good start. 17.34. Mm, that's a still decent damage, I guess. What magical damage? Uh, yeah, his critical is a bit scary. Don't have any hammer here. Okay, I can go in there and dance, so... I guess I lose nothing. Well, you have a bit of critical. I embrace Gerald of Dying. I, I kind of knew that already. Okay, so that's a clean hit. Now I can attack. Maybe I get Ether. If I get the Ether, then it's over. So you're the enemy general, hey? You're much younger than I had imagined. My age matters not. The palace will be ours this day. We will not relinquish it so easily. But allow me to introduce myself, as if it's a warrior. I am Bryce of Dying. And I am Ike of the Grill Mercenaries. Now let us begin. Okay. Actually, that's some damage. Here, maybe I can give it to someone else, but I could already dance for I can get it. Can you get it somehow? No. I could get the probable conversation. Why not? You don't kill, so... Oh, you don't have a conversation, really. That's disappointing. Well, you remain at 1 HP, so that's good. A bit of magic, good for healing. So actually a relevant uh, piece of 1 HP. I could give it to Leaf. Because here, yeah, we take you out with the SD Axe. Probably using a Fortify. I think I need to give Leaf some kills, like she's going to be useful only this very beginning. Yeah, let's see if Leaf can do it. Nice, 10 damage. And goodbye. My strength was not enough. Could not protect my home. Forgive me, dying. What are you on? I swear, every every new Kamu I found, I find in the Final Run series is more stupid than the previous one. Like such a stupid archetype. I, I understand the, the gist of it, you know, the horrors of war, all that. Come on. Why do you have to, to be so dumb? What are you achieving here? Yeah, I should have said it best. There's 
no better joke than a knife. You could go against the dragon, but it's like a double attack, so I really don't want to. Fortify. Still have seven uses. It's worth it. Nice. And we wait. Went around. Do you have a silence? Oh. You bastard. Okay. How much? I expect like five. It's zero actually. Don't think I double though. So they are Kanto in a way, getting another one against me. Even the dragon might be able to reach, though I don't completely know. Okay, if this is five, the lands could have been a bit more, but the tankiness is very welcoming here. And how much? Okay, this is more. But it also means... Whoa, 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 Really now? Enough? Why are you that much weaker? Why? I don't, I don't like it. Nice, Allah. I'm here, but to hear my words. I'm only here to aid you. Don't try to put the burden of this battle on my shoulders. Okay. How good are you? At least I have a renewal. Shit. Okay, you are very good. 24 defense, 34 speed. A big Lagus band. Knows the word to maintain animal form at all times. Abilities are not affected. Lagus nobles only. Okay, so he has a permanent form. He has vantage and he has vortex. So yeah, his attacks are magical basically. Did I just... Did I just go for the only enemy that I couldn't damage with Naisala? I think I did. Well, what the... I can't go there to dance. Perfect, perfect. Uh, to be honest here, it, this does look like a problem. I can put Ike here. He battles this dragon. He can kill one of these guys. I can, Ike can do this, but no one else really can. The dragons, I mean. The dragons are like a, a big problem in here. Although, Under Magic is super effective, so maybe, yes, you know, a bit of Soren. Soren? I, I also haven't really trained Soren into Under Magic. I've used mostly Fire. And I only brought, yeah, I only brought Bolting. Uh, but they have the Lagos weapons, right? For example, I can go for this. Okay, we might be able to do something. Uh, first of all, though... Um, well, we'll see that last, actually. So, silver with double we kill. Yeah, 9 with critical, so it could be 27, but I still survive. It is a critical. Ra I think I'm actually going to maybe let myself at low HP. You know, to get advantage from Ra. I don't think I've done that in the whole game.
Okay, can you rescue there? You can, with no problem. So... Oh, come on. It's going to be Lagus Bow, basically, because... See nothing else that can damage you. How fast are you? 22. Okay, Soren isn't that fast, I guess. No way I thought he was. And here we have a Bolgan on Sage that was unable to reach Anna this turn. If she can, then she will be killing. At least I'll do something. We have to attack. A health is high, but it isn't uncrossable. It's just that these aren't the best enemies for me to face. Alright. We do this, then probably we go back and we battle with Marcia. We're risking criticals here, but. Best I can do. Marcia or Yell? Nah, Marcia, Marcia. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, it isn't bad, it isn't bad. It leaves me, like, hanging by a thread, but... Do like 28, your critical is also very low. So it is really worth it. Uh, okay, my movement there was much poorer than I thought. I actually kind of need to do this. Yeah, okay, I have the fortify. So doesn't matter if I get hurt. You can kill, so. Yeah, yeah, I need to do this. Right, nice dodge, nice dodge. Good. Take care of the dragon. There's not a lot of them, right? There's three down here, I think there was two on the higher side. No, that's actually all of the dragons, okay. Okay, okay, I, I already am taking care of all of the dragons. That's good, that's good. Then, yeah, definitely going for a, for a close range bolting in here. Like support, maybe a bit critical. I actually don't know if you have a support. I have to be completely honest. Goof. And if I take care of you, then I think Kenna can survive the rest. Who do I take the kill with? I think it's it's going to be Gil. I I need the block. I need the block, yeah. So it has to be Gil with the spear. They'll probably go for Nesala, like they they prefer it, right? No, I want this. There we go. You probably see nice alas and easier target than than Anna. Anna has a lot of defense. But well about resistance and, and about defense, I actually don't know because nice Ala has 24. Okay, no, you have 26 and then 19 resistance. Yeah. I guess you do have a lot more resistance than other Lagos, uh, other Dragon Lagos. Uh, you try for silence again. This time you hit. And I didn't bring restore. That's a sleep. Uh, maybe, maybe, sh maybe even missed got a slap. Well, this is super effective because it's a Lagos. And 
he doesn't counter, even though I thought he would, because wind effect. Okay. Ah, uh, didn't think that one. I guess you couldn't reach just because the dragon was there. I didn't really see your your movement. Okay, some good damage from the pink dragon herself. And here, how much? Not a lot. And the counter is not a lot either, to be honest. You going to physic the dragon? Please don't. Ooh, really now? No tigers? Man, they double, right? Oh no. Okay. Weird. Dragons are faster than tigers. Did you transform? Because that would be kind of good. Oh, I just remembered. Enna has something. Where she heals. Like, yeah, this is silence, right? Yeah. And this is sleep. Yeah. I th I'm pretty sure that Enna can restore the condition of adjacent allies. So I might just put her here. Uh, so she can attack. Or 15, and then I can put Mist next to her, and then I will restore everyone around. Yeah, on this side, I, I think Ike is actually okay. I think Ike can take care of absolutely everything. Yeah, in fact, he will just now. Yes, have a damage, but. Goodbye. I don't know if he's faster than the cats. Probably not. But the cats are going to survive him. And yeah, they will reach, as I thought. Wow, you do a lot less than I thought. Oh, if you attack from range, you do magic. If you attack from... Okay, okay. Now that makes more sense. Just at the very last map, they are going to give me trouble, eh? Well, good, good. Silver Blade, Silver Lance, Rexaura. Highest level of Light Magic. Magic is quite difficult. It's devastatingly powerful and you get plus 3 resistance. I don't know if it is from that. Interesting. Have a brave bow, you reach up to there, okay. Just in case, just in case. Range weapon, by the way. Fire affinity, you have an affinity because. Mm, yeah. Silver blade, okay, so it was the sword master. Do I double? Yeah. Okay. I think Lid had nine. Every time she has a combat, she loses one. Then after each turn, she loses three. Is that it? And goodbye. Thanks for the help, but goodbye. And he's still getting a lot of experience. Right. Now if I want to kill here, rather not. Nice. She does even that right. Okay. Let's see. I might unequip, to be honest, because I have so many Lagus stones. I might consider unequipping Anna. The demi and just using up 
one of the dragon stones I have, you know? Good resistance there. Another cat. Another... I, I feel like I say cat. I pronounce it wrong. Cat. I, I know, I know it's not the physics character. And anyone else? No, thank God. Can finally move. Don't you think that was enough? Yeah, there's the boom thing. She heals people around, so that's helpful. I knew the priority they used to move, then that would probably be helpful. Do you transform? Yeah, I thought this might be the turn. So I might want to just... Yeah. I think I will. Shine. So scary. Goodbye. Uh, I mean, he's a player also. But he only gets affected by the Ragnar, so... I'm talking about... Asher. Technically, he's a flyer. Uh, and a wyvern, but I don't think I can, you know... And if I go for a Boltin now... Uh, okay, the range for Boltin is not that good. Because you have to do it through the door. Doesn't make sense, but... It is what it is. Still bow, goodbye. Actually, do I double? I don't. You know, Soren, you are fast, but your speed kind of went stale a little bit at the very end. I guess giving you a, a speed wing or something isn't that bad of an idea. Because your offense has gotten a bit stuck for the... Only for the last, like, four chapters or so. Okay. That's good. That's a critical, definitely. But even so, that's pretty impressive. Uh, and a level for Naisala. Strength and speed. Let's go. And HP. Okay, do you come? Mm, doesn't look to me like you do. Okay, so it's a stationary boss. Disappointing. I thought you wanted like the glory of combat and shit, but... Guess you are just yes, a coward. Mm. I do a bolt in... Okay, apparently... No, because you have Thoron. If I use Bolting against you, will you answer me with a Bolting? You probably don't move. But that's why you have 4... Minus 4 range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10. Okay, going to do something... Risky, I guess. Could also get a critical. Uh, oh, I got a death. I got a death. I got a death. Nice. Bolting broke. So, yeah. That's still outside your range. I guess I can divide a little bit. Especially Leaf. It's okay going, basically. Also can have Nessa Ladder. So I will attack here, and if I can kill with flyers the other paladin, then that would be perfect. Because I would be able to, you know, a fight be the one clearing them. Oh, 
Oh, I have to go all the way around. This isn't as good as I thought. Okay, yeah, this silver lance is gone, so... Let's just wait there. Take it on and go around. Okay, next sala. You can take care of this one. I'm, I'm going to spare you some of lift kills. Nice. Nice. And that way Lith can advance, can advance a bit more. Let's have to use up my Volting, by the way. It apparently does. Didn't pay that much attention. Okay, I can actually double up there. Here it is, this, like, here Ike is going solo, and a critical, because it wasn't enough. Okay. I mean... Everyone get closer. Uh, yeah, boy. It's easy, boy. You just have to hit. Nice. That way, I don't have to bother Anna. And you can take the kill on your own. With something like a bow. Question mark, question mark. Maybe silver killer. By the way, I shouldn't do this. Like, critical doesn't give you more hit. Yeah. That happens when you have a critical. You just miss. Okay. How about 100 percent from Anna? She's pretty accurate too, so. There we go. You also can probably carry and drop here uh, to make this more optimal, but okay. Okay, so we throw a spear, obviously. You might even get a critical, not so lucky. And... Okay, Mia is close enough, thankfully. Mia takes the kill, I can probably even kill the one... Okay, does Mia take the kill though? She has to hit the 70 and not get critted if she misses. Okay. Good, good. Nice her, it's longer. Uh, yeah, and I can take care of you so that I can advance with the other two. Have it. Because. I guess that's the countermeasure to your speed not being that consistent, that you do have Adept. But it seems to me like Adept is better if you're speedy, because you have two chances of activating it. I don't know. I know Sihark, who has been like a big meme for me in this run because of how fast he died. Sihark does have uh, this thing. Can I say it? I think I want an in this side. Nah, he just want to wait. Sihark has added, which is incredibly cool. Okay, might not be able to kill the the paladin actually. 
if Nersala does this, then I might not be able to kill the other one reliably with just Leaf. I have gone a bit too far here. Because a Paladin might be able to kill people like Mist. Especially with a Killing Edge. Oh yeah, I don't kill consistently. Well, you guys have to survive the Killing Edge. This was my mistake, but there's no way for me to patch it up except getting a critical with lead, which is not happening, or dodging the critical slash not dying to whatever this guy does. So, please just kill him in the counter. Okay, he heals. Healing AI. Saving my life ever since Gaiden, more or less. Bo, didn't think about you. Paladins being able to use bows is still something that doesn't quite fit in my mind. Thankfully Ike doesn't care because Ragnel is that broken. Like, oh, you have a bow? Yeah, well, I have a range sword. Get out. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. So we're definitely getting close to the end. You've done well to have grown so strong. At last I have gained a foe worth enough to test my sword. Excellent. Enjoy my might to your heart's content. Okay, he's moving. I... I know Fire Emblem. He's moving. Which is an idea, because I'm divided. Okay, I can do something. This, in case you didn't know, is called... Not this. This is called killing. Everyone knows about this one. But there's something called rescue padding. Where if you know a character is going to get rescued, and you want the character to get rescued to a certain position, and you have the units to spare, or in certain situations the you know, uh, lands, landmarks to escape, like, for example, uh, a mountain, a wall, or something like that. You can position the rescuer in a way where you decide where he's going to be. So I want Ike to be in range of Ashnar, so that maybe Ashnar prioritizes him. And so I'm going to try and path the rescue. How do you do that? Well, if Mist has to be here... No! I'm stupid. Okay, well, Ike is still in range, but... Uh, <laughs> that was... That was... <laughs> that was a 45 for absolutely no one. Just because I mistook my, my stuff. Uh, okay. Don't attack Razor, no. Good. Good thing you don't. You can you can go up there. It's a bit weird to me. That you can do other stuff, but okay. Well rescuing, just to make things faster. Nice magical circle. Like there was like a summon in there. I, th I think I actually saw that animation earlier. Might be the animation when uh, the Black Knight teleports and stuff. Just yes, in case, because these are stairs and they might imply. Well, I can rescue. They are stairs, they might imply a change in AI, so. Oh, not Savior. Take. We're going to be careful. Alright. That's not that bad. We'll go for it. I don't die. Alright. <laughs> I remember that stance well. 
So your father taught you swordplay, did he? How very happy that makes me. Maskin Nationar, we'll cut you down with this blade and end your reign of terror. You? Cut me down? <laughs> Good. If you possess the strength to do so, then so be. That process is the principle on which my ideal world operates. What are you talking about? Fucking crazy. Okay. And the big question. Yeah, there's no damage. Oh no, he can do damage. He can do damage. So I was right. He is designed to be able to get you out of a soft block, more or less. I'm going to wait a little bit because I don't want to intentionally get in the range. This is interesting anyway. Um, yeah. I don't know if he moves now, so we'll just wait a little bit. He recovers health. He seems to prefer attacking Nike. The sprite is insane though, has so many spikes to it. It's overkill. Okay, so if I go away, will you pursue me? That's kind of my, my question. Recovers health completely, right? If you don't pursue me now, then I will go for you. Okay, you don't. You don't. Okay, so he doesn't move. He's an aesthetic boss. A bit disappointing, but easier to deal with, so I'm not complaining. Conversation? Probably. Just thinking about fighting you makes me want to forget the whole thing. Heck, it's not like I'm getting paid. Say, do you want to hurt me? <laughs> What's this? Do you wish to return to Dain's loving embrace? I do, if you agree to make me very, very rich. Enough if your lies grow. Even now, your beady eyes look to find a chink in my armor. <laughs> you found me out. Alright, let's proceed in earnest. No more tricks. Oh, look over there. It won't work, eh? Then die, madman. I won't be doing you any favors if I let you lay. Based. Big damage there, big damage there. I don't really like that. Okay, so if you don't move, that means I can do this. No problem. Okay, it seems like the defense I have on Ike is the perfect benchmark. I have to remember this. It's actually cap defense. At cap defense, Ashenar doesn't two shot. Okay, can you do damage here? No. Okay, so it's not. No one else can do it. Only Nice Sala and Ike. That's. That's pretty boring. That's pretty boring, especially considering the damage isn't that high. I understand having an extra damage, but even if this reinforces the idea of the sacred weapons being needed, it's. Not the best design. It, it makes for a very boring battle. Well, if I get Scyther, it's over, so... Let's see. Slashner, do you get Ether? He doesn't, but he will die now. Alright. Uh, if you... If you transform at the very... S uh, okay, no, no, no. You transform at the same time because I transformed you, but you don't... Like I'm thinking, was Enna... Does Enna transform at turn one? Is that her thing? Does she have the same times as Leaf? Well, we'll never know. 
literally. Uh, everything that's zero is the Ragnar. 94. Second phase. Ah, excellent. Excellent. So good. Cool. More, more, I say. At this time of ascension. It's not enough. Not enough. Oh. Now, it is truly over. Is it though? It is. It actually is. Oh no, it's... I was right. I was right because I know... Oh no, please. Don't do this to me. And I stay back. The King's Mount is still alive. Stay back. Anna. No. Rayon. Leon, what is it? Uh, Alec goes, no, it can't be. Ashner's mom was a wyvern. Wasn't it? What are you doing? Be patient, please. There's something we want to try. Uh -huh. Oh, the Galder. Reason that um, told me that dragon's true form had been worked, so we sank the Galder of River. Rayayon! Rayayon? Do you know who I am? Uh, Anna? Yes, yes, you recognize me. You were made to suffer because of me. I'm sorry. Rayayon! Rayayon! Oh, Rayayon! And uh, let's return to Golgotha. The two of us together. I, I will go anywhere, my love, as long as it is with you. And uh, from this day forward, forever. Oh no. Alright, I am. He, he just died, right? I mean, if I understood it correctly, that didn't seem like a... Or maybe they are gone and, and I'm just being very dark because I really want there to be a happy ending for Enna here, but that didn't seem like a happy ending. He was one of the Dragon Drive? Yes. And Leanne making her, you know, typical commentary that I definitely understand. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. is that 
No, dang. Oh, she's searching for the medallion, of course. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Oh, what is it, miss? Did you find something? The medallion, Ike. The medallion. I finally have it back. Miss, that medallion is... Yeah, I know. Raison, Leanne. Oh, what? Here. Oh. Medallion belongs in Serena's forest. My mother w was only holding it for Lilia. Leanne, you take it. Thank you, daughter of Lena. In the memory of my departed sister, I accept the medallion from you. That, you know, that little... Ooh, okay. Save game. I'm, I'm probably getting an epilogue, but I can make a bit of commentary. Anna, best character in the game, like, <laughs> knew it from the get-go. I said, whoa, that's a cool ass design. Then she got to be a cool ass villain, and then she was like the type of melancholy, uh, you know, broken soul that I've grown to love in the stories. So, yeah, best character in the game. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of good characters in this game. Uh, but yeah, the Ray Iron stuff, that was a pretty powerful ending. Still, yeah, like a lot of protagonism given to N at the very end. Weird to me. I guess I guess this game was really planned out to be a two-parter. Like Radiant Dawn was thought out in advance. Because there's a lot of open threads that haven't been resolved, like the Black Knight's identity that I know because heroes. There's also I don't know, in general stuff like Characters we don't really explore. Sanaki appears very briefly, and I know Sanaki is playable in Radiant Dawn, so I'm guessing we explore the dynamics in Benion a lot more. And that, that is kind of interesting. But uh, I, I was going to say in here, just as a comment, that the little pause that Raison did there, where, you know, Mist was offering them the medallion, and she said, You take it, Leanne. It's like, because to hold the medallion, you need to have balance in your soul, and Raison hasn't completely recovered from the desire of vengeance. So that's also a nice, a nice touch there. I think, I think that was intentional. At least I felt like it was. So, probably clear game safe, but let's see the epilogue. Epilogue. All right, everyone is here, literally. Like I can see more in Tormo, and I don't know Deb done talking with Tanith for some reason. For the past year, I've been focused on winning this war. I stand here today as a testament to your fortitude and commitment. I understand this will never suffice, but I wanted to take a moment. To say something to you all. Thank you. I hope I may continue to rely on you. Of course, I, I hope that I may continue to be of service. You've grown so much. I'd like nothing better than if Commander Grillin and Melina could see you now. What a long road we've traveled, and yet in many ways it seemed to pass so quickly. I'm glad it's finally over. We did well, didn't we? I'm sure mom and dad would be proud of us. Radio bike! Of course, if it hadn't been by if I hadn't been by your side the whole time, victory might have slipped away. Hi guy! I mean commander guy. I'm, I'm going to keep practicing so I can be better than ever. Thanks for having faith in me. I didn't. Oh you. Really, you exist. Finally. It's finally over. As long as we can return to a life without war. Praise the goddess. Ike, 
Are we going to go back to being mercenaries? I'm a great soldier and all, but... This is going life of a mercenary is the only life for me. <laughs> now let's go find some good looking lasses. Hey, boss. We did it! Woohoo! You know, I'm completely in love with your fighting style. If I could train under you, it would be great. So let me stick around for a while, alright? With no more work here. I will be leaving you shortly. If you have need of my services, you know how to reach me. Oh, okay. Uh, no, okay, we're going to talk with absolutely everyone. I was going to say, we only talk with a select few. And out of those select few, for some reason, Volk and Mia joined the army. No, but now we talk with the people of Premier. Elincia, you find, you've had to wait a long time, but I finally fulfilled my contract. The mission is complete. Oh, back to the old sprite, of course. My Lord Ike, on behalf of, of all Premier, and my departed father, mother, and uncle, Unconfirmed. I thank you once again. Oh, stop. Come on, will you please stop doing that? Pardon? I think I've gotten used to a few of these novel customs and whatnot. They still can handle the boy. Makes me antsy and itchy too. Oh, my lord, like. <laughs> oh, glorious day of sweet victory. Races upon the day the goddess did see fit to send Sir Ike to save our land. Thank you, General Ike. Because of you, I believe we better understand how best to serve Princess Elisa. Through your strength, the dark clouds that blanketed Crimea have been dispelled. From this day forth, we will give our all to see the restoration of this land and its people. General, you are Crimea's savior. For your meritorious service, I salute you. Huzzah! Nay, a thousand huzzahs! Oh, am I glad that's over? When I saw King Dine, I was sure I was done for, or that he tortured me. But you were a bull, thank you. I can go home and see my family once more. When I get back to the countryside, I'm gonna boast to all my family and friends that I fought under you. Largo and I were going to stay here and open up a shop. With Grammy undergoing reconstruction. There are going to be a lot of people moving about. We'll open an inn with good food and drink, and free butter on every table. We'll be rich in no time! I'll let you know when everything's all set up. You can drop in any time. We'll even give you special rates. Uh, maybe we should call it you know, like in. Then the people from Bengu. You know, like. I will be taking my leave of you for the time being. This in an Iron Man has to be incredible because you only see the people that survive. I'm guessing. So it hurts a lot more when you see someone missing. I will be taking my leave of you for the time being. I must return to Venion and present a report of the world's outcome. Are you going to take Venion's soldiers with you? You learned us quite a few. Though the war may be over. It will take many weeks to see the country secure. I spoke with the princess earlier, and she asked that we help if possible, so I leave them in your care a while longer. We really do owe Benyon a lot, don't we? In the end, we got not only you, but a whole battalion of reinforcements. General Selgius and his troops are the reason we were able to minimize casualties during the final battle. He and his men took care of the retreating dying and allowed us to focus on the enemies before us. No matter the assistance you have, the victory itself is a result of your strength and leadership. I know two people who will, be very, who will be very pleased to learn of your triumph. Please give my thanks to both the Apostle and Sephir. Sephir and another character that I'm extremely intrigued about because he seems to be incredibly relevant. And yet he has done nothing. You know, like he even intimidated the fucking Black Knight. I plan to go and thank them some uh, myself someday, but... Understood. Very well, you know, like. I look forward to seeing you again. Very well. Hey! Hi! Hey, handsome! You decided to return to service in the Benyon uh, Pegasus Knights. Cool beans, huh? 
Why are you so I am so much to you? I thank you so very much. I see you around. Goodbye, you're alike. This world has given me the confidence to enter the service of the Benion Knights. Thank you so much. Devdan is glad for the fighting is stop. Devdan prefers the peace and quiet. War is not good for anything. Well, we're going home. All of our desert friends are waiting for us. And wow, do we have some stories to share with them? What do you mean? <laughs> I never deployed into it. Lagos like and Bill. Perhaps the gap between us has run home. War is horrible. But maybe we've gained something of value, after all. And the Lagos? Are you leaving already? Yeah. I'm out of here. I've got some important guests to convey the king. To convey to the king. Guests? And he's talking about us. We're taking my father to visit Dahlia for a while. We heard should live in somewhere near a forest after all. The one I spoke with King Kainig is on our behalf. You're not returning to Serenus. When we made our peace with the Apostle, we're not ready to live there again. I see. You'll be able to return someday. York and Lagos will come to understand and respect each other. You may be right. I hope you are. Are you ready? We should be leaving soon. Yifka, I'm in your depth as well. Gali is a very special place to me. I'd like to visit again someday, if I may. Come whenever you are able. The king will be pleased to see you. And one more thing. Gali will not spare any effort in aiding Crimea's reconstruction. We will be sending supplies and workers to you shortly. And that is much appreciated. Oh wait, raise on Leanne. Uh, what is it? Do you think I could touch the medallion one last time? For my mom and dad? Of course. Go ahead. Put out your hand. Alright. Thank you very much. Is that enough? Yes, I just wanted to say goodbye. Thank you. Hmm? And you too, right? What? And I'd also like to give our heartfelt thanks to your parents as well for fulfilling the hopes of our system. Thank you. Yes. Ike, I will help rebuild Carmia too. I will lend you much strength. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I must admit you've done well. You're a good fighter. Too good to live with this Bjork. We'll meet again. Well, it's about time for us to take wing. We've built quite a close bond, haven't we? This is true. We're especially grateful to, for your help in service for us. The next time you're visiting the southern coast, come to Phoenicis. The entire country will celebrate your arrival. The country of the Hawk tribe, right, eh? That would be fun. I'm interested in what kinds of food you eat. We collect berries from trees, on pigs, that no bear could plant. The uses and desserts made from it are beyond compare. You have ocean delicacies, mountain treats, you have everything. I'll pass on the desserts, but I'll take extra helpings of me. <laughs> Leave it to me. I had to interrupt your playful chat, but I thought I should tell you. You don't have to visit Gilbas. It's our policy not to invite Bjork into our home unless they pay well. Ah, uh, King Gilbas. Despite all your posturing, you came to aid us, in the end. You turned out to be a better ally than I dare hope for. Ah! Keep your foolish tongue inside your foolish head. And don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to think of. <laughs> Based. Farewell. I never serious about funny sister. Come anytime. General, the bird tribes are in your den. We are grateful. Please take care. If you ever have any need of the king's eyes, Fire a flaming arrow from a high place. I'll see it and come flying. Mm, that is, if I'm not busy for on an error for the king. Now Leucci was there and he didn't say anything. And now, literally the randos. Uh, well, unless Ilianes from Dain. 
you know, like, I will never ever forget you. Thank you for showing me the error of my ways. Just glad that it's finally over. Maybe now I can get some sleep. <laughs> Things are going to be rough in dying too. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm heading back. It's my homeland after all. I have played my part. All that remains is for me to take my leave of this place. History will judge my actions. Winston and the others are going to die, and I think I'm going to go with them. Thank you for everything, Jenna Like. Um, I hope they packed enough food. I'm pretty hungry. Okay. Alincia? Oh. Yeah. Oh, then. We've been both enemies and allies. Thanks to you, Ryan was safe. And so was I. Thank you. So you were with Kim dying because you were trying to save Ryan? Yes. Ryan is the most important thing in my life. Some 19 years ago, he said he wanted to broaden his knowledge and left Golda. He never returned. When I finally found him, it was too late. He had been so twisted that he was no longer able to recognize me. And yet, I wanted to be near him. With Nasir's help, I too came to die. Oh, grandfather. It's because I never saw his body, but it doesn't feel like Nasir is really dead. It's like he's out there somewhere. Have you forgiven him? He does not need my forgiveness. Except for that one moment when I learned of his deception. I never thought of him as an enemy. That's, that's good. Are you returning to Goldo, Aina? Yes. I must help Ryan return to his... Oh, okay. Okay, Ryan is alive. Alright then, I thought he was dead for sure. Take care. Give my regards to Kurtnaga. Kurtnaga? Oh yeah, that's true. That's the, the prince the prince of Goldoa. That yeah, another open thread that did absolutely nothing for us and that's probably going to matter in Radiant Dawn. Thank you, I will. Alright. Final speech. No. The war is over. The Crimean people, who suffered greatly during the war, the harsh dying occupation, have at last regained their freedom. These same Crimeans have a saying. No matter how harsh the winter, the spring will ever follow. This popular proverb proves true. As the warm winds of change begin to blow across the countryside, the war has left the country in ruins, but the people rise from the ashes and take the first steps towards rebuilding their nation. The once scorned and despised subhumans, the Lagos put aside past enmity and come to the aid of their neighbors. And the Crimeans never forget it was Gallia that fought beside them and held freedom from the yoke of dying oppression. Led by the examples of Elincia and her retainers, Crimea begins transforming into the land its king had dreamed of. A land where Bjork and Lagos live together in harmony and equality. As the reconstruction efforts progress, the administrative government announces the enthronement of Elincia as the new queen. And now, the day of her crowning arrives. Okay, not to throw flowers 
to my favorite Fire Emblem, but this game takes a lot from F6. Like, you know, Ike, late promotion, gets a secret weapon, promotes by a story, is guarding a princess, then the last scene is probably going to be the coronation of said princess, and I just skipped the story. For rebuilding a country that was completely devastated by war, it's bound to be tough. Okay, because Miss said it was tough. You're right. I bet Princess Elincy and the people in the palace are twice as, as busy. Speaking of Elincia, what is she doing? She's in, the, in that room over there, surrounded by a court, by court officers. They seem really busy. Feel so sorry for her. As long as she's getting at least a little bit of rest, I'm not worried. Well, she probably isn't. Maybe if I send her a lullaby. Oh, oh no! I forgot. You forgot what? I gave a medallion to Rayson, but I forgot all about the Galdor. Hey, what should we do? Hey, yeah. We never did find out who Altina is, did we? She was the only one who could sing the Galdor. Well, when things come down, we'll have to head out and search for her. Is that Altina you speak of? One of the three who defeated the Dark God? Sephirin? Hey! Uh, Sephirin, so you made it, did you? I arrived merely moments ago. Let me congratulate you on a successful end to your journey. Um, thank you. Please tell me, do you know who Altina is? Of course. Altina founded my homeland, Opinion. Oh, uh, then it was a mistake. We can't give a song to someone who died so long ago. There is one who yet shares both bloodline and name. The true her of Altina. Uh, who is it? Sanaki. Sanaki cursed Altina. No other than the Apostle herself. The Apostle? Is this something everyone in Benium would be aware of? No, there are very few who know that uh, that name. Why do you ask? The Apostle is Altina. Oh, I'm, I'm so relieved. I'm exhausted too. I am going back to my room. See you later, Sephiron. That was rather sudden. Did I say something to cause her distress? No, no, nothing like that. She has that so much has happened between Benion and Serenus. Would you tell me more about it? I will hear what you have to say on this matter. Sure, to tell the truth. I see. The assassination of the Apostle, the Serenus Massacre, and the use of the medallion to revive the Dark God. All of it was part of Ashner's grand scheme. That's the conclusion we came to. You have me at a loss. Uh, why is that? For many years. I have walked these lands, watching, listening, and never did I uncover what you have found. Now that you have presented me with uh, this information, I don't know what to say. I merely fulfilled the hopes of my father and mother. Now you speak from hindsight. Rescue Princess Crimea. Winning the Apostles' trust and defeating King Dine. Yeah, Fire Emblem Team. With Lagos like at your side, no less. You have accomplished all of these miraculous things. 
I have trusted them. I have trusted and valiant companions at my side. It was only through their support that I was able to do these things. Ever the humble one, eh? Now then, before I return home, I hear the Galdar of release? I must convey it to the Apostle. You would do that? None of you can leave Crimea. The new queen will need your strength. I suppose that will be the case for a little while, won't it? A little while? You are the hero of Crimea, you're alike. If you wish it, no post will be beyond your reach. I don't care about any of that. It's more trouble than it's worth. And I don't see the value of being some fancy lord. When the country is safe, I'm giving up that title and everything. I'm going back to being a simple mercenary. <laughs> Truly, you are a... <laughs> uh, is something strange? Yes, it's very... Um, I think that's it. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. Despite all appearances, you're really quite good. Uh, Commander, I have a minute. Sure. What is it to tell me? Princess Alincia. Uh, oops. Uh, it's Queen Alincia, isn't it? The court ministers want Queen Alicia and you to come out onto the balcony and greet the people. Uh, what? Greet the people? Me? Yes, you. I've done what I was asked to do. Now hurry up and get on. Uh, hey, get in here. Oh, nuts. By the way, what's going on? The people of Crimea wish to see their hero and to sing his praises, even if the hero himself protests. If they want a greeting, surely their new queen, Alincia, will suffice. I go speak to her. Thus, two heroes give birth to new chapters in history. Ike, I doubt if you've ever in, even noticed. Your story, the everyday mercenary who becomes a hero, will awaken ugly appetite and ambition in many. It will be the cause of strife and discord throughout the land. I'm certain Ashner saw the truth, this. In a way, Ashner's dream may have been fulfilled. The seeds of war have indeed been sown across the, county, the continent. It appears your trials are just beginning, my gallant young hero. May the goddess ride with you. Yeah, uh, this guy looks fucking dangerous. Like Sephiron? What's wrong? Everyone's waiting to see you. Okay. Getting a lot of volume in for me. I'm nervous. I've spent my whole life in hiding. It's just no one ever taught me how to rule a kingdom. I don't think I'm ready to be their queen. I don't think I'm ever really going to be ready. What's the matter with you? Ike, stop it. How can Did I... Did anyone teach you how to hire mercenaries? No. Oh. But that's not the same. How to win back lost allies? How to win back your lost kingdom? That's... that's different. No, it's not. You've done such an amazing job. And I think you always will. I see. 
All right. Come on. We'll do this together. Thank you, my lord Ike. I am, I am so blessed to have met you. <laughs> and so it was that in the spring of the year 646, Valencia Rydell Crimea saw peace return to her homeland. In the years to follow, the story of Queen Alincia and her noble hero Ike spread across the land and inspired the songs of many a wandering troubadour. All right, all right, let me put down the controller. And talk a bit about this, how this wonderful game. Like, this this has to have been one of the best Fire Emblem games I've played, objectively speaking. And yet, I regret to inform you, I didn't have that great of a time, because this is a horrible game to record. Uh, it's so so well constructed but also so full of a story of side conversation support different ways of i don't know and as i commented also the gameplay is kind of slow so it's been a pain to record it's been a pain to record but the story itself is amazing probably yeah has to be the best written story i've seen in the series so far mm up there with the physics i'm very partial to the physics the black knight incredibly like charismatic villain Ashnar, not so much but you know you don't really need the final villain to be the the most you know the most recognizable one that's that's just how it works and yeah overall he has a, a great experience as a whole, from the very beginning to the end, in a lot of aspects is the best I've seen throughout the series. Like, for example, the, the integration between story elements and gameplay elements is perfect. Like, I, I don't think it has been done this well. Uh, not only for Fire Emblem, but for a lot of the games I've played through my life when the enemies need to feel like more stronger and more challenging they do feel more stronger and more challenging uh, for example the dragons uh, ashnar the black knight the game is a bit easier than i than the point where i would enjoy i i, I know that's a bit unfair to say after after saying that yeah um the, the gameplay is perfectly ad adequate to the story. But yeah, I, I would maybe enjoy it with a bit more difficulty to feel like I'm going against a, a bigger challenge. And so it fits better with a war. Uh, and, and we can't forget that this was the first Fire Emblem to be in 3D. So everything about, you know, the game being a bit slow in its animations or and maybe the models not being the best models you've ever seen in your life. A any argument you can make of that type falls apart when you realize this game is from 2005. Like this game... This game is 15 years older than Three Houses. Like, just let that stick in your mind. The previous game to this one was Sacred Stones. The previous game to this one was a GBA game that obviously, you know, GBA games didn't put a lot of focus on on 
uh, while doing any type of 3D work, uh, they didn't have to put that much effort into making um, the designs, you know, converting the designs into, into models because the models were just 2D sprites. But yeah, even so, like the jump between Sacred Stones to this game and how well they did it for the first game in 3D in the series. The models for the characters and for the weapons, let's not forget the weapons because every weapon has a different model in this game, are good enough already. There's Kurt Naga. That's true, that was Kurt Naga. Uh, yeah, those designs are good enough already. But the maps, the maps, the maps are incredible. The maps are probably the best thing in in terms of modeling because you never feel you feel like every location in the game is distinct except for I don't know one or two that are just a forest, a desert, something like that. Aside from those, all of the locations are distinct. They are designed to have a certain point to them, like. All right. Well, this is just this is just a continuation of the craze, so I will talk over this. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the palace of Oliver, this last palace of Crimea, the one in Dain. Um, what else? Serenes Forest. Serenes Forest. Let's not forget about the, that chapter. Was it called uh, Daybreaks? I think. What is this music? I've heard this song before. If I haven't heard this song before, I've heard a very similar one with this type of uh, melody, this type of instrumental. I've seen them before. Well, and also, something I have to also mention about this game, and I know I've already talked about the story, but the world building. The world building is incredible. And unlike other Fire Emblem games where the world building exists, but isn't really well used, like that, that happens a lot, I feel. Uh, biggest example I can think is Three Houses. Three Houses has a lot of world building, like past battles, other countries, uh, other noble families, and then it doesn't matter because you just have, uh, you know, uh, 20 teenagers in a castle that is also a school and you never visit any other country and politics don't matter. In this game, politics matters so much, like the interactions in politics, the court of Benion, the, you know, how, how kings and queens interact between each other when lending aid to someone that is being invaded. Kainegis, Kainegis as a as a character, absolutely incredible, perfectly nuanced. Elincia, Elincia probably, Elincia I think would be my my. If someone asked me how to do a political character in a game, I would say Elincia. I think I like Elincia much more than than I like Guinevere. And I already think Ginever is a good example of a political character in F6, but Elincia is just Ginever but better. Yeah, the few complaints I can have with the story are that that Ike can be a bit plain at times. You know, he has his conflict, but sometimes the conflict feels like... I don't know, I, I, I feel like that conflict enriches Mist as a character much more than it does Ike, weirdly enough. And yeah, he gets pieces of info from like Borg, uh, also later from, you know, uh, on that chapter where he sees the room where Lilia was captured. He gets a lot of information and he doesn't really do anything with it. He just absorbs it and tries to take vengeance against the Black Knight. 
it's weird, it's weird. I think I could be better, and I think uh, this isn't the most incredibly original story ever done in Fire Emblem, like it's very stereotypical in certain ways. But even through all of that, it's one of the best stories and one of the best games I've played so far. And it makes me really excited to play Radiant Dawn, because I hear Radiant Dawn, uh, I hear a lot of people say that one of the things that Radiant Dawn does is it fixes a lot of the problems that the gameplay has. It's a much faster game, it has a very, very, very well appreciated difficulty, like people say Radiant Dawn is pretty fun to play through because there are complicated parts, and yet I feel like it probably doesn't lose on the gameplay to a story relation because I know for a fact, and I think almost everyone knows this, that Radiant Dawn has a lot of chapters with forced, like a set amount of units that are forced onto you to use. So yeah, just really looking forward to Radiant Dawn, really looking forward to replay this game in the future to see how hard mode is. And overall, even though this wasn't my popular, my most popular series, and as I said, and I really don't want to insist on this, but it's a difficult game to record. Even through all of that, the game is so good that I hope you, you enjoyed it anyway. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Seahark and Makalov, the only dead people. Seahark fell in chapter 11, as we know, and Makalov fell in chapter 14. Rhys, Mordecai, Brom, Soth, Tormoth, Rayson, Ulki, Yanav, a lot of characters I didn't use. Didn't use Tanith at all at the end. Neither did I use Tauronio or Largo. Uh, I actually thought I gave them some opportunity. Rolf got one kill, so did Volk. Volk got to do a lot, but he just isn't the type of unit to get kills. Elinsia one and a two. Kiran got three kills. Oh yeah, on chapter 11. On chapter 11. That's true. That's true. Uh, Lucia. On joining chapter, Debdan, Debdan mostly on day breaks, I think. Ranul did some job, did some work. Uh, so did Bastian, Moarim, Khalil, Khalil especially on the on the Yil Father chapter. Iliana six wins, when? Okay, Naisala seven wins, <laughs> almost as many as missed, just on the last chapter. Gatri 18. Yeah, well, for the first chapters. Uh, Mia, Nephany, here we're getting to the hard hitters. Gil, Astrid, Titania, Oscar. And do I get like bronze, silver, and gold? I'm getting. I'm guessing my. Okay, fifth, fourth, third. Marcia. Then it has to be Lid. Then. Soren? And the Nike. Okay. 108 on Soren and Nike. 114. Not that much difference. I did get a lot better after getting the Ragnar, but Soren currently missed through most of the game. So I wouldn't have been surprised if Soren was my golden unit. Alright. So, yeah, this time that's going to do it for this part and for this series. Uh, sorry, but yes, I, I don't know. I guess I forgot that you get those things. No pretendings in this game. Interesting. M maybe you can get pretendings, but I didn't. So, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't get any support up to A, right? In, in general, I didn't get endings. I just got, you know, the unit reviews, but no plot. 
So we'll have to see what happened to them in Radiant Dawn. For the ones that come back, most of them are going to come back. I know I've seen some uh, Radiant Dawn designs. I've seen, um, of course, Ike and Soren. And I've seen also who else? Sof. Sof. I think Sof is a very well known one. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, that's going to do it for this part. Finally, I leave you. Uh, if you like, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. I'll see you in the next series that is going to be a not so good game. Eh. Bye.